Uh, all right, guys. So in this section, we will actually trace the the reflection agent system that we built, just so we can understand exactly what is happening where, so that we'll understand how both of these systems are working together to deliver our final refined viral tweet. All right. So to do that, uh, I'm just going to go ahead uh, to this particular website, smith.langchain.com. If you don't have an account already, just go ahead and create an account. And I'm going to come to this tracing projects right here. I'm going to click on this project and yeah, I'm going to choose with Langchain and there's a couple of things that we have to do. So we have to generate the API key, right? So I'm just going to copy this API key and you can see that it's already being reflected right here. So instead of copying this, I can just copy this entire thing right here, right? I can just copy this entire thing and then come back to my environment file and I can put it down here. So I don't really have to provide the, the open AI key because I've already provided it. But yeah, the rest of it should be there. All right, perfect. So now that is pretty much it guys. If you do not know what Langsmith is, yeah, uh, you know, uh, it Langchain has very strong support for Langsmith because they all work under the same umbrella, right? So you just need to have the environment variables available in your file. And that's that is it. So uh, what I mean to say is that so inside of this, so we have all the graphs and we have the message graph and we have the different nodes and everything. So within all of these classes, it will have support for Langsmith. So once a, a particular operation is done, if the Langsmith environment variables, everything is like perfect, it will make and stream it to Langsmith so that it will capture it on its side. Okay, so we can actually trace it very easily. All right. So now that we have put all of this in the environment variable, let's now try to run it again. And once we run it again, we should be able to see another project right here. Okay, so let's try it. Let's give it a few seconds. So as it is actually going through each and every single step, you know, the first iteration, the second iteration, the third iteration, after every single operation, there is going to be a, a, a call that is being made to Langsmith and it is actually recording everything right now. So let's just give it a second and you know once we want it once it finishes we can actually go to Langsmith. So you can see that everything is available right here. Now if we come back to Langsmith and refresh this, you should be able to see another project. Perfect. So you can you can see that we have the new one that is generated today, right? This is 13, which is today. Let's go in here. All right, so here we have a runs threads monitor setup. We are only interested in runs because a run is basically running an entire application from start to finish. So if we were to click on this particular run, we'd be able to see traces. Traces is different from runs. Traces is like this particular small component in the system, you know, did this particular thing, right? So it gives you a lot more descriptive, uh, you know, information about what exactly happened. So at the very top, you can see that this entire thing took 46 seconds. This is going to be the complete compilation of what happened. But if you're interested, we can also go through each of these different things just to see what component did what at what point, right? So right now we have the generation agent and the reflect agent. So we can actually see what the generated generate agent or we can't really call it as an agent, but what did the generate workflow did first? And then what is the reflect workflow did second? So we can actually see all of that. So this is going to be, as I said, a high level overview of what happened. Human, me, I said this thing first, and then the AI, which is the generate agent, generated this particular thing. And then this is going to be the human message, but actually it is not the human message, if you remember, right? So this is going to be uh, another uh, AI generated this thing, which is going to critique the first generated tweet. It's, going, it's saying your tweet, your tweet touches on an intriguing and highly relevant topic. However, to maximize its impact and virality, consider doing this, expand with context, engage with a question, use emojis, right? Hashtags, use, use better hashtags, create a thread, add media, virality and all of that. Remember the goal is to be thought provoking and informative. So this reflect agent is going to generate this thing and then it is going to, now the, con the control is going to go back to the generation chain. So the generation chain is going to generate a completely new revised tweet based on all of the feedbacks that it received. And then once it is done, again, uh, the critiquing agent is going to look at that tweet and it's going to suggest a lot more, uh, you know, uh, to, to how to, you know, uh, make it better and taking into account all of that, 
again the generation agent is going to make it even more better and then this thing goes on for um, you know a, a total of uh, six six different exchanges right so that is what we've done and finally we have finally we have a very viral tweet that is packed with a lot of you know you can see there are emojis and there are hashtags and you know it's, it's really uh, a pretty well thought out tweet right it's not like a one shot tweet but rather there's going to be a lot of thinking and a lot of refining and then finally you know it gives you this final tweet and that is exactly how in the real world it works as well right there's going to be multi multiple iterations so that's what we have right here guys so initially there is going to be the generation node uh, i'm just going to provide this the generation node is going to uh, you know uh, generate the first tweet and then what ends up happening is that you know um, this is going to be reflect node and that is going to look at the generated tweet and then it's going to critique it and then finally again the generate node is going to be there and it's going to again it has the context about every single thing right it has context about every single thing and then finally the it gives you uh, the output of that and the same thing happens again and again and again and finally we have the the final tweet right here okay so i hope that you're starting to understand how reflection agents work and how powerful they are because they can actually think deeply through a particular thing and then they can like reflect and generate and reflect and generate and what i've done is basically a very simple example which is to generate a tweet but you can imagine that we can do it for pretty much anything out there even for complex tasks and if at all you have any questions just go ahead and ask it to me in the comments and i'll be more than happy to help you out so in the next section we are going to be looking at the next type of reflection agent which is called reflexion agent and that i believe is going to be even more interesting so i'll see you in the next section